Hey, I'm Bill, this is Vital Bike Chains. Today we're gonna to talk about some options you might have for servicing your chain. Let's start with the obvious. You want a new chain and you want that chain to be waxed. Kind of two options here. One is the person that's waxing the chain already carries the chain and you're good to go. On the flip side, possibly they don't carry the chain you want. So you can either mail them the chain or you can uh, order the chain somewhere and probably have it direct shipped to them. And I guess a third option, which I'm probably not unique, is you can call your chain person, tell them what chain you're wanting, and maybe they can just put together a quote for them to source the chain. Which is actually the reason why I started carrying a few chains, including the Connex 11SX, the KMC E9, as well as the Campanolo Ekar. I don't know why I say it like that. On to your next service option. Let's say that you already have a chain that is already waxed, but it's time to get it re-waxed your chain person will gladly do this for you. It's actually a pretty simple process. They will do some kind of initial inspection. They wanna make sure they're not, you know, spending their time re-waxing a chain that is probably at the end of its lifespan. And then they will drain out the old wax, so to speak. And then comes a new fresh coating of wax. I'm not sure what it is, but the second time you get a chain waxed, it just seems maybe better than the first time. And now the final type of service that you might have an option with is you have a used chain you've done who knows what with, with all sorts of lubes and whatever, and now you want that all stripped away and you want a fully immersed wax chain. Do not be surprised that this is gonna cost a bit more than getting a new chain wax or getting a chain reserviced. And the reason for that is an old chain has a dirty, oily, greasy coating all over it and that takes some time to remove. Compare that to a new chain that has just a oily, greasy coating on it. In addition to that, it also takes a lot more chemicals to get those old dirty chains clean as compared to a new chain. Now, if you have a $100 SRAM T-type chain, well, it probably makes a lot of sense. If you have a $20 SRAM PC870, um, maybe this doesn't make sense. Hopefully this helps you make a decision for you and your chain on the next step in its life. And I'll catch you next time.